Okay, for our next problem, sample number problem number three. So our first two, no, the horizontal motion, and then the second is vertical motion. Now we are going about to talk again about horizontal uh, horizontal motion or horiz the particle moves along a horizontal path. So we have a given velocity. So ako lang basahan ang kano ang problem. A particle moves along a horizontal path with a velocity equals to 3t squared minus 60 meters per second, where t is time in seconds. If it is initially located at the region O, so this is the origin point, point O. Determine the distance traveled at time is equal to 3.5 seconds. And the particle's average velocity and speed during the time interval. Okay. So I would like to write the given so, ang given na to, natin given, velocity is equal to 3t squared minus 60. If it is initially located at origin, so itong initial location is at 0 meters. Determine the distance traveled. Distance traveled in 3.5 seconds, the average velocity, and the average speed during the time interval. Okay. So, in this problem, we assume that at time is equal to 0, our position is at also 0 meters, or at the origin. So, we were asked the distance traveled, so the S at 3.5 seconds, and then the average velocity and the speed. So, we were asked about this one. So, first, kung sa itong gamiton, katong first three equation that we discussed earlier or the constant acceleration so we test the velocity if the acceleration is constant or not so checking so our checking is we we know that the acceleration is just the derivative of the velocity with respect to time or just simply the derivative of the velocity so if we have the velocity is equal to 3t squared minus 60 Therefore, the v derivative of v or v prime, or let's say we just call it dv over dt with respect to time, is equal to, by power rule, that is uh, 60 minus 6. So this is the acceleration. If you can see that the acceleration is a function of time, it means that the particle at a certain amount of time, an acceleration is changing. It means this is not a constant acceleration. We cannot use the constant acceleration equations to solve this problem. So we're going to use what? These equations. Katong, what's that to? Velocity is equal to ds over dt. We also have the acceleration is equal to dv over dt. And then the other one, the acceleration times uh, ds is equal to v dv. So, which one we're going to use? Okay, let's proceed. So, manin siya, no? Uh, this is not constant acceleration. Therefore, we are going to use katong uh, kani, given. Okay. So, we were advised, no, kuno, nga, since we were asked about the distance. So, we should first get the equation sa distance. So, naanatay ang acceleration is 60 minus 6 as given here. We have the velocity is equal to 3t squared minus 60. Therefore, we're going to solve for the position S. So, position, we know that position S, you know, the ang relationship niya with V is that Position S is the integral of V. So, V is equal to dS over dt. Ito nang i-cross-multiply. We have dS is equal to V dt. dS is equal to 3t squared minus 60 dt. Ito integrate, ito integrate from 0 to S, 0 to t. Then we have S is equal to T cube 
minus 6 divided by 2, we have 3t squared. Okay, so this is our position function. Okay, next. So, ingon niya diri. If the velocity equation contains both positive and negative terms. So, positive and negative terms. So, these are terms. So, if you can see, natin positive term, 3t squared, positive 3. Negative terms, negative 6t. Inspect the path of motion because we are unsure where it went left and where it went right. So, always check the motion first. So, sir, about sa earlier, sir, ngano wala mo ito nag-check sa path sa motion, katong sa car. So, if we can see here, ang iyang velocity did not, does not contain positive or negative terms. Only positive 3 and positive 2. But on this, our current uh, example problem, we have a positive and a negative term. So, we should inspect the path of motion because what ka balo kung karas ano siya na move left or right, okay? So, analyzing the velocity equation, the particle will shift direction when the velocity is zero. So, particle will shift yung direction ko yung velocity is zero. Did you remember our previous problem? Problem number two. Pag abot niya sa SB, 326 meters from the ground, yung velocity is zero. At that point, nag-shift ang position or ang motion sa direction ni rocket. Instead nga pasaka, panaog siya. So here also, horizontal motion. May bala na ito nga mo shift siya. Yung motion is kung mo zero ang iyang velocity. So, atong i-inspect. So, mo yung gingo diri. Uh, shift direction when the velocity is zero. We have to inspect when the particle's velocity is zero. So, kanus a ah, daw ang velocity. Kanus a ah, ang velocity is equal to zero. When we talk about kanus a, that is when. So it talks about time. So when does, at what time, your velocity is equal to zero. So di ba natin equation given v is equal to 3 t squared minus 60. So we are going to take time. So uh, v at zero nag change ang motion. Unsa tong aurasa. So, 0 ang velocity is equal to 3t squared minus 60. Transpose, we have 60 is equal to 3t squared. But actually, para mas proper, we should put on the left side what is the higher koan. Higher nga exponential nga, na higher exponent nga coefficient. So, we put here 3t squared is equal to 60 divided by 3t divided by 3t. So, para makancel ng t, para makancel ng t on this side, and also the t. So, we have t is equal to 6 divided by t. We have 2 seconds. So, it means at 2 seconds, nag-change ang motion <coughs> ni particle. So, karun, nakibalo na tanga at t is equal to 2 seconds, nag-change ang motion ni particle. But we don't know kung kuan asa ang change of direction so unsa na to ni pagkaybalo so if we plot this one in a curve we can see that from t is equal to 0 seconds to 2 seconds the particle experiences negative velocity that means it moves to the left of the origin whereas when t is greater than 2 seconds the particle moves to the right of the origin because of the positive velocity so ato ni i-give ato ni i-plot no so mag graph na punta so, instead of x and y, we have a plot of time versus the velocity. Okay? So, mo nang show sa example diri. So, ako lang ni siyang badlisan diri just to give us kuan. Uh, hmm. So, uh, 1... 2, 3, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, 1, 2, 3. So, the vertical axis is the velocity and then the horizontal axis is the time. So, at 
time is equal to 0, so our auto equation is equal to v is equal to 3t squared minus 60. When time is equal to 0, atong v is 0. Substitute na to ang 0 diri, we have velocity is equal to 0. When our time is equal to 1, our velocity is 3 times 1 squared, that is 3, minus 6 times 1. So that is 6, so 3 minus 6, we have negative 3. At t is equal to 2, atong velocity ni balik siya 0. Okay? Let's say at t is equal to uh, 3, our velocity becomes, is substitute na to ang 3 degrees, so 3 times 3 squared, that is 9, times 3, 27, and then minus 6 times 3, 18, so 27 times 3, that is 9. Sorry, yeah, 27 minus, sorry, 18, 27 minus 18, that is 9. So, on say next button, sir, it plot. Yes. So, at t, time is equal to 0, v is velocity is equal to 0. Time is equal to 1, velocity is negative 3. Time is equal to 2, velocity is 0. And time is equal to 3, ano to siya. So, you plot this, this is, uh, this actually forms like a curve. Then, pasaka siya. Okay. So, unsay significance sa plotting? At first, gingo na to, mo change ang position when velocity is zero. Now, we don't know the direction pa, no? Kung asa siya gika ng change. By plotting, we saw that at one second, ang velocity niya is negative sa particle. So, unsay pasabot kung negative ang velocity. So, matutunggin no? If it moves to the right from the origin, velocity is positive. If moves to the left of the origin, the velocity is negative. So, since negative man atong velocity uh, at 1 second, it means the anhin ni siya diri. Pag abot og 2 seconds, ni hunong siya, ni change din siya og direction. Okay? That is at 2 seconds. Maraming makita diri sa figure. Okay, so, di ba, atong na-discover that at 1 second, ni move siya into negative 3 velo uh, yung velocity. So, kung maunin ito ang origin, this is O. This is our horizontal line. So, kanin siya nga particle, for 2 seconds, ni move siya on the left. Okay? That is t is equal to 2 seconds. After ani kay nag zero velocity ni move din siya sa right. So as what is shown here. Ni move din siya sa right. Mo na dito tong kiyas, yeah sa tua. Uh, what is the distance from the origin at t is equal to 3.5 seconds. So determine the distance traveled. So, distance traveled, you know, t is equal to 3.5 seconds. So, what is We were asked again, no, kung, what is the distance traveled, total distance traveled. So, wala pa ta balo. So, wala ato pa ni isolve. So, uh, neglect lang sa ni ang graph. So, we already knew that from origin, move shaft to left for 2 seconds. Afterwards, to the right until ni hold siya at 3.5 seconds. So, ang saan man ni pagkaibalo sa total distance? So, makaibalo tata sa total distance if we knew the distance from origin to this point and from origin to this point. So, yung total distance travel is diri, paingon diri. So, di ba nanatay ano, equation atong gisolve before, atong velocity di ba is 3t squared minus 60 our acceleration is equal to 60 minus 6. Our position is equal to t cubed minus 2t squared. 
sorry, minus 3t squared. Yes, divided by 2. So, ato sa i-determine, at 2 seconds, pila ang na-travel, at 3.5 seconds, pila yung na-travel. Okay. So, at 2 seconds, ang na-travel niya is 2 cubed minus 3 times 2 squared. That is 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8. Minus uh, 3 times 4, 12. That is negative 4 meters. It means from origin O to here, it travel siya o 4 meters. Okay. At time, 3.5 seconds. Yang na travel na is 3.5. So we just substitute the value of the time in this equation. 3.5 cubed minus 3 times uh, t squared. 3.5 squared. We will have what? Uh, 3.5 cubed. This is 42.875 minus 3 times 3.5 squared. 36.75 So at 3.5 seconds yung distance from the origin is equal to 6.125 meters This is from origin to here 6.125 meters So yung total distance traveled total distance traveled Equals, so, ni ato siya sa left, 4 meters. Tapos, balik na po siya, ni agi na po siya 4 meters, plus 6.125 meters. Total of 14.125 meters. So, this is the total distance traveled. Okay, so, our next nga, uh, ipangita sa to, diba, is the average velocity. We know that the average velocity is equal to delta S or the displacement over delta T or the change of time. So, ang displacement ni koan ni particle. So, displace, so, this is the delta S or the displacement and over delta T. So, ang displacement ni particle. So, we recall that this is gikan siya ni origin. No? And then, ni move siya to the left, ni move siya balik to the right. So, atong definition again in displacement, it is from the origin to the, or the yung initial point, to the final point. So, mumuni yung initial point, ni move siya dire, ni move din siya dire. And this is the final point. Therefore, the displacement is this distance, which is equal to 6.125 meters over time 3.5 seconds then our average velocity is 6.125 divided 3.5 we have 1.75 meters per seconds our average speed okay so in your module we they use the symbol VSP, kani average speed. So, ako lang po ning awaton para di na mamalibog. VSP average. So, average speed niya is ang iang total distance traveled, total distance traveled, over the ratio of the total distance traveled and time. So, moto siya, over the time. So, total distance traveled niya is this one, 14.125 meters over the time traveled. Kalimut ko, minus 0 seconds din idre. So, we have 3.5 seconds minus 0 seconds. We have 14.125 divided by 3.5. This equal to 4.04 meters per second. Okay. So, yung velocity is the displacement over the change of time. Katong, ang displacement is from the initial position to the final position. So, yung initial position kay Diriman, maski pag ni-move siya sa left to the right, 
Pero mo man yung final position, mo man yung initial position, therefore, this will be our average velocity. The average speed is yung total distance traveled over the time. Okay? Okay. So, our average velocity, since this is velocity and it is a vector quantity, therefore, we should uh, put direction. 1.75 meters per seconds to the right. Since ang speed is a scalar quantity, no direction, we'll just leave it as is. Okay, of course, atong i-consider mo niya is ni agi siya left pa yun sa right, total distance. So, this is an scalar quantity. Okay? So, uh, look for the link. I will submit a link where you can submit your questions if you have. And also comments. Okay, thank you and I hope you understand our lessons. <laughs>